To many people, nuclear power is some kind of ugly frog. Frog, like quack quack. But we all know from fairy tales that sometimes it just needs the kiss from a princess to break the ban over the prince hidden inside. Please welcome from South Africa, Princess Tombini. Hello, Berlin. Let me hear you scream. I come from Africa, a continent of 5.2 billion people. 600 million of those people don't have access to electricity. I come from a country that is regarded as the largest polluter in Africa, South Africa. It has 19 power, uh, coal power stations, and most of our electricity in South Africa comes from coal. And many of those plants are about to reach their retirement age, and they will need to be replaced by a baseload cheap electricity source. And in this state, nuclear is the solution. By now, South Africa would have another, another nuclear power plant if it wasn't for Germans. Because those who oppose nuclear power plants in South Africa, they are using Germany as an example to say, if a country like Germany, which is rich, is able to shut down their nuclear power plants, why do we need them in South Africa? So, Germany is the reason South Africa will stay undeveloped. I'm saying to German government, you are the reason for those poor African people continue to suffer, those people who continue to use the polluting means to address their energy um, needs because in that process they continue to die. The 600 million people, they still use things such as cow dung, they use paraffin, they use candles to address their energy needs. And most of them, they stay in informal settlement, so they die in the same process. So I'm saying to government here in Germany, stop shutting down the nuclear power plants, save all of us in the world. And, and shut down the coal power plants, forward with nuclear forward, away with dirty coal, away, and forward with the development of Africa through clean, reliable, and cheap source of electricity, which is nuclear. Let us save our climate. Thank you. Let me hear you scream again.